Well, I started playing when I was 14 years old. We live in a place which is loud. So if I need to communicate with you, I need to be louder than all the noise that's around me. If I'm alive tomorrow, then I know that I won't be the same person that I am today. So my musical style, my musical sensibility will also change. I guess I will be carrying more baggage and I'll be talking about other things. But I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. No need to sit and wonder about what's going to happen in the future. I don't even know if I'm going to be around at the time. Maybe I'll become a rock climber or something. Maybe I won't play music at that time. Who knows? If you can't entertain people, then you're no good. I like to celebrate the performance. People who are there to watch me and my band play need to be respected, which is why I dress up, which is why I wear those glittery headphones and you know shiny waistcoats and whatnot, because I feel that's a way of respecting your audience. If you think you can be an artist and wake up at 3 p.m. and be inspired by something obscure randomly, it's not going to happen. I don't think it happens that way. You have to set a routine for yourself. And sometimes it's good to break that routine. Um, but if you stay in the flow of things, you are more productive, I believe. That's the kind of loss that you never get over. And it's also the kind of loss that you never expect. Because who would expect a real superhero to die in front of them? And if that superhero happens to be your father, it's a difficult thing. I don't think I've still mourned that loss. And I don't think I'm uh, going to do that anytime soon. It's kind of that Superman situation where Superman could access his father at any point. I kind of feel the same way. <laughs>